What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm Artist Boozy and we get fun and get creative with it and we do awesome artwork. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around. You might like it. In today's video, I got this awesome huge 600 page sketchbook for Christmas and we are going to start filling this sucker up. So we're going to draw Tupac with chalk pastels today and let's get into it. Voice over boozy mode coming at you. Okay, so I know the last video was drawing Tupac, but we're drawing Tupac again because as an artist, I see everything as a potential thing to draw and I'm always getting inspired by pictures. So I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw this picture of Tupac with a quote over top of it and I loved the colors and I wanted to draw it. So that's what we're doing today. Also, he was super talented, and nobody in the industry has ever done it like Tupac. He was awesome. I love his music. So obviously, like always, I'm going through with my base coats. Some tans and some browns and some blacks for like the beard and the eyebrows and the darker areas. And we're blocking in the shape of his face so we can go in later and do them awesome details we love to do. That's just the peach color, and it kind of looks like I'm drawing with white, but it's a peach. And it's for the highlights, and then the super, super bright highlights will use white. Because why be limited to three colors? And also, let's play a little game. Can you spot my Jackie dog? Where is Jackson? Can you see him? And now we're going to get into the Tupac bandana that he was known for wearing. What's your favorite song by Tupac, or what movie did you like that he played in? I like Poetic Justice, and I watched another movie, I think, no it wasn't Above the Rim, it was another movie and he was a basketball scout kind of thing, and it was pretty good. He was kind of a butthole in that movie though. <laughs> Now we're doing the hoodie, which I'm not super good at fabric, so we just try our best of drawing what we see with the colors and blocking in shapes, and hopefully it looks good enough for you guys to notice what it is. Now we're doing lettering, which is another thing I'm not so good at. We're just going to play it off like we're good, and co I'm doing like a stroke and then coloring it in so it looks like I had good lines, but in reality, I'm not good at drawing straight lines. My hand is not the sturdiest. Well, it's not sturdiest, the steadiest, my bad. Signature time! I made it look a little fancier this time. And looky there, I'm doing a background. Can you even believe it? I can't. I surprised myself with this because you know your girl always skips the background because she chickens out like a little pansy. But we're throwing in all kinds of colors. Greens, blues, oranges, reds, you name it, it's in there. Well, that's not true because there ain't yellow, but still. Ooh, look at them filthy hands. Now blend, blend, blend. Blend that sucker so there's no lines and it looks natural. And with the background, I layered a lot too. I did a layer blend, did another layer blended, then I added some whites because it was getting a little bit muddy and I wanted it to look brighter and not so bleh. And then I'm adding a vignette or whatever it's called. And here is the final result. Give me a minute because this sucker is heavy. But it's going to be awesome because it's 600 whole pages and I'm so excited. But this is the final result and I hope you guys like the final result. I actually worked up the courage and did a whole background and it's colorful and I love it. So I hope you guys like it too. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe and come back for some more artsy fartsy fun. Thank you for watching. Whoopsies. Thank you for watching.